Hello again. So now I'm going to show you how to install the Arduino and the Teensy Duino on a Windows 7 machine, if you happen to have one of those. Um, so as usual, I like to start off by going to uh, the PJRC website um, to get both of them. It just makes it sort of simple and easy. Both the Arduino and the, uh, or reference to the Arduino and the Teensy Duino. So I'm going to start putting in search Teensy uh, 3.1 and the first site that pops up on mine is going to be this pjrc.com. Obviously you can go straight there. But I click this link and it references the Teensy 3.1. On the left here what I want to do is I want to go down to Teensy Duino, hit that little plus sign and then go to download and install and that takes us to this page um, you can go straight to Arduino okay I just you'll see why but I start here okay and I have to have Arduino installed on this machine I just now deleted it off of my machine so I'm going to reinstall it and I'm ultimately going to have to have this the uh, uh, Teensy Duino so let's go to the Arduino page okay and here what I want to do is I want to download in my case the Windows installer. I'm going to click on this and you know um, this is my little two bits here uh, it's a great idea to contribute this is open source stuff people are working on it they're asking three five ten whatever you want to do um, I've given some uh, you don't have to you can just go on the just download if you wish which is what most people do but at some point if you love it it's always good to support them okay and you can see it's downloading now and this might take a little bit so why don't I pause it until it's actually done downloading okay so you can see it's finished downloading so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna install it uh, and you're gonna see some you might see something on my uh, computer which would be kinda cool it may not install it directly okay I don't know if it caught that I hope it did screen went blank and now we're ready to go ahead and install it and it's verifying Okay, I agree. Install everything. Okay, now this is important to know where it goes. Pay attention. The default is program files Arduino. You can change it. If you do change it, make sure you know where it is because you're going to have to put the Teensy Duino in the same location. Okay, let's install it. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause while it's doing this and I'll join you again in a second. So while it's finishing, I want to show you one other thing that I know happens. It may even still happen. Um, sometimes when you try to install a Windows application or an application on Windows 7 especially, you'll get an error when it tries to install. Let me just show you how you get around it. It'll give you, uh, it'll say something like you might have to run this as an administrator. If you've never done that, okay, you downloaded this file. It goes by default into a folder let me just set that aside for one moment it goes by default into a folder called downloads okay there you can find the file you downloaded in this case I downloaded the Arduino 1.6.3 if I right click on it you'll see whoops let me, oh, it's off your screen what pops up is a is a menu and the very top one, the second to the top, is run an administrator. Let me see if I can get that to actually show up. I'm going to scroll that all the way up here, so I'm thinking it might pop below. Okay, see that? I right-clicked on it, run an administrator. You might have to do that if it gives you an error. Okay, It's in your downloads uh, folder underneath your, uh, your own username. Okay, So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Now let's go ahead and install this device driver. Let's go ahead and install it. 
even though we're going to be using the teensy it's going to put a new driver on there but you know what it's always nice to be able to use anything and I think I'm going to pause it because I know that takes a little bit of time I'll be right back okay so you can see that it's now completed and I'm going to close that <clears throat> So now we have to put in that teensy duino. Now you'll see kind of why I decided to open this window. I'm going to go back a couple. Okay. Now we're back to the pjrc.com site and I need to download the teensy duino. Okay. So click on that and it should start downloading here automatically. My computer is running annoyingly slow. Something's up. There we go. And I'll pause again so you don't have to wait for it to download. Okay, so it's done downloading. And this one as well, I think it might pop up and we might have to run it as an administrator. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try it the old fashioned way. I'm going to hit run. So I just clicked on it. Now I'm hitting run. It's going to check it out, make sure it looks like a safe and reputable file, and it might not recognize it. Um, I'm trying to remember. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, here's my Teensy Duino. It's ready to go. And it's going to check to see whether or not you have a USB driver. I already do. Uh, but uh, it's going to check to see it. You guys probably don't if it's the first time you've installed it and it's going to ask to install it. Okay, mine found it because I'm just repeating the same process. Next. Um, keep in mind, like I said, if you moved it, the default is going to be the program files Arduino. Uh, if you moved it, make sure you relocate it. This uh, TNC Duino has to be installed into the same directory as the Arduino. I like to put everything in there because I like to play. Okay, you never know when you might buy one of these things. And install. And look, okay, I get an error. Uh, you may need to run this installer with administrator access. All right, so I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to open up my file directory. Mine is going to be in downloads because I just put it in the default. TNC is way down here. You can see I've installed it several times. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to run as administrator. And we should get the same basic thing we did before, but this time it won't error. I'll minimize that. I think my screen's going to blank out. Okay, if you didn't see that, my screen went blank and I had to click OK. I don't remember if that gets recorded or not. And my machine is running really slow. Maybe I'll pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Next. It's already installed. Next. I'm putting it into the directory that the Arduino was put in. Next. I want to install everything in there because you never know when I might buy something I want to play with. Next. And install. And this is going to take a few moments too, so why don't I pause it and I'll join you as soon as the yellow bar gets all the way across and it's installed. Okay, looks like it's installed, so I'm going to hit done. Okay, I'm going to close that out and I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to open up our Arduino. And while that's opening, um, so I only have one camera on this particular computer. So I've got my Teensy 3.1 right here. I've got my USB cable right here. I'm going to plug this in. Set it aside. Of course it powered up so it's flashing. Um, set this down someplace where it won't short out anything. Don't put it in anything metal, obviously. Uh, oh look, well, I've already run this code so uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to show you, but normally if this was the first time you'd have a blank window that only has uh, this setup in the loop, but I've been playing with it so it found an old file. 
but I'm going to set this down someplace where it can't make any contact. I have learned it in the winter time. If you're working on a plastic table, static electricity and plastic can be a problem too. So set it someplace safe that it can't short out. Um, the next thing I want to show you is now that you've got it set up, all right, we need to make sure we have it going to the right chip. By default, a brand new installation of Arduino uh, puts the chip on the board. The board, I'm sorry, goes to a Arduino Uno. Okay. Well, that's not what we have, or I have at least. I have a TNC 3.1. So you need to make sure the TNC 3.1 is selected. The next is the port. Okay. In this particular case, there's only one port on this computer that's active right now. It's, it's port 27. And um, so that's it. It's hooked up. But let's say you have other devices on your computer. Uh, you've got uh, various other serial devices. I don't know what, uh, but something is hooked up. And you want to know which port is hooked up to you, your TNC 3.1. Okay, so you don't address it to the wrong port. Go down to the start uh, icon, go to control panel. Once control panel opens up, you want to go to hardware and sound, and then you want to click on device manager. Device manager is going to pop up all your resources that are hooked up to your computer. I'm interested in ports. I only have one, so it's a no-brainer, but you should have something that pops up that says Teensy USB Serial, and it'll have a port, okay? Com, whatever. Usually, I have to reset this. Usually, it's something way lower than 27, all right? So you now know that when you go to Tools and you hit the port, it's connected, you're going to check and make sure that it's hooked up to the right port, okay? So now that you have all that, what you can do is... Um, you can go back to the playlist. You can go to the file called one, and it says uh, first flashing light on a teensy. You can scroll through a little bit because that particular program or that particular video was shot around installing and setting up on a Windows 8 machine. And so you can skip about half that video, slide the slider along until you get to the part where the TNC is being connected and you're ready to start writing your very first program. So I will see you later. I hope this was helpful. Bye.